Hello mates, it's Kano from Down Under. So today we got a new Mortal Kombat update 2.4. And to tell you the truth, I think it came pretty quick. So that was slick by Mortal Kombat. And uh, I do miss the Tower of Hora, but already we get a new tower. It's the Lin Tower. And it's uh, Diamond Sub-Zero you will accomplish. Once you get 200 matches, and you can see it has an icy cool look to it, but they restrict you a little bit. You can't use Raiden, the Thunder God, or Shao Kahn, but again, you'll get the Diamond Sub-Zero and unlock his brutality, and along the way, pick up some icy cool equipment, so I bloody love that, mites. Um, you can actually buy the equipment off the bat, which I've never done. So you see right here, for five bucks, you can get a frozen mommy. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what that is. I think what it does is it freezes the opponent's mom and then makes him more vulnerable. And uh, so it weakens his health. Uh, that's my guesstimation. If you know what it does, let me know. And there's also the bigger Lin Tower Pack. Where you can get a whole collection of new weapons, Alma, and accessories. Specially crafted the Kanka, the Tawa. Unleash never before seen equipment bonuses upon your foes, including the ability to perform a new brutality when he clipped with the Diamond Sub Zero. So it's shown right there, you can get a rare frost axe. Kind of looks like something from Game of Thrones. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I will show you some Tawa, Pawa. But also another cool thing I noticed. If we go into the collection, the character cards are a little different now. You can see it actually shows Kano is the Black Dragon. So they got the titles right, which is pretty cool. Did they change any other titles? I didn't notice any off bat, but I like seeing the two Black Dragons, Cabal and Kano, looking like that. Um, but when you click on it, you got Aaron Black, the Gunslinger. And it shows his passive. 30% attack for special ops, achieving 80% plus on standoff, which is special attack too, makes it unblockable. So you can see his passive, then you can see his stats. And the stats are really cool here because when you go into stats, they tell you the base and then equipment. Any equipment you have, it makes a boost. You can see 14%. Any of the feats and strengths that were achieved, it shows you right there, 4%. Support cards, 15%. And talent adds 1%. Same thing with health, same thing with recovery. It's really cool how it breaks all that stuff down, mites. So we'll go back, and then if you just see support cards, they're all maxed out at 15%. Specials to the right, uh, they're all maxed out 10 for 10. And then any equipment, you know, you can click on it. And right there, if you want to go to the next highest character, they got the Thunder God Raiden from Down Under. Same thing, pretty cool. I like how it shows all that. So the other thing I noticed, guys, is the equipment looks all different. Totally redesigned for the update. You can see the epic ones, which I only have four. They're now purple and they even say epic up top, which is really cool. Then you got the uncommon or Irish green. I really didn't know there was any Irish fighters, but I guess we got Irish equipment. So I definitely like that. Then we got the rare in the blue. And then we go all the way to the end. Common. Uncommon. At some of the Tawa of Hora. But go back to the top. We click on it. We got the Wrath Hammer. Again, it just looks a little nicer, cool, clean with all the color coded stuff and whatnot. All right, so let's go back, guys. Let's take it to the Lin Kuei Tawa. Let's see how I do. I have played it a little bit. Didn't get any bloody equipment yet. Match 13. Let's see if I get some equipment. I got my Black Dragon Squad, which I definitely do like. When I beat the Tawa of Hora, I was able to achieve that. Uh, I got Shao Quan in there. Yeah, so I got to take him out. Who do I put in, guys? We'll put in some classic Sonya Blade. Because she's always playing hard to get. So let's see what's up with the new Tawa. And the next update will actually have the Terminator character, which would be awesome. I was actually hoping somehow they would have the Terminator Tawa 
which would have been even better. But here we go. Let's see what happens. I do love Cabal, all his moves. Lightning quick like Shazam. Love his sound effects when he throws those saws. But let's get Kano in, mites. Got a little Kano ball to take him out. Jason Voorhees trying to be scary. Friday 13th was yesterday, too. Sonya Blade tagging in. Come on, Sonya. There we go. We're going to neutralize the competition mites. Throwing some missiles. He comes back from the dead from six feet down under. But then he runs and hides. Ah, getting a little misty over here, guys. Kano back in, mates, for the bloody finish. Jason trying to look tough. Oh, all right. Well, Kano's going to take his six feet down on the mite for the victory. So we're looking for new equipment, guys. I haven't got any yet, so let me get some new Sub-Zero type, Lin Kuei type equipment. Let's see if we get anything. No, we got another Kinshi rare weapon. I don't use Kinshi. It's good to fuse it higher, though, if I ever use it. He's got the Shaolin bow. You know? All right, so we got two more plays. Let's see if we win any goodies. Any Christmas treats, jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg, all that good stuff. Here we go, match 14. And I will show you guys when I go to, like, level 50, match 100, 150, and when I win... The sub zero diamond for the brutality. Here we go, mites. Cabal versus Scorpion. Slicing and dicing. He's got some spin moves. Let's use a special attack too. Merry go round. Choo choo. It's just a badass move right there, guys. Ah, he came back for some bloody more. This guy's loco. Shira Rau. Yeah, good luck for you. No more tagging out, guys. I'm going to finish you. How do you like that? I'm going to tag out. You're going to stay in. And Kano's going to take you six feet down under. Now we got the Warlock. Kinchi. How about another Kano ball to take him out, mites? Yeah, good luck with that spear. Sonya Blade neutralizing the competition. Sayonara. So again, I love that we get a new tower to play. Towers are always fun. Get new equipment. Some of the equipment is going to be good enough to use after the towers are eliminated. But they make a humongous boost. Especially with damage and health when you achieve them now with the current tower. Alright, so I didn't get any equipment there, guys. Here we go. One more play. Three question marks. Let's see if the third marks the final spot. Saying we got some dark magic in this competition this time. Let's see what happens. Smites. Damage over time. The damages. So I got to finish these guys bloody quicker than usual. These diggers are going to go six feet down under. Ah, nice little spin. Kick there by Lin Chi, but he's going to be finito like Benito. Merry go round, down we go, choo choo choo, where it stops, nobody knows. He finished. Kano, take him out with your attitude problem. Don't be so angry, unless you're on my team. All right, mites, here we go. Third time at Charm, you're going to get some special equipment from the Lin Kuei Tower, hopefully. I'm hungry for new equipment, mites. No, we got armor, which we already have. It's a little disappointed, but I will keep playing the tower of power and take it down six feet down under. So 
So I think that's it for now, guys. That's the little gameplay, little update on 2.4. So please ring the little notification bell. Ring, ring, ring. So you can be the first to see my new Kano-themed kick-ass Mortal Kombat videos. Subscribe to all your friends. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. And let me know how long it took you guys in the Lin Kuei Tower to get some of the cool-ass equipment. I'm curious to know. So for now, see you later. Alligators!